Thank you, Mr. Knox. Meeting call to order. Madam Clerk, may I have a roll call, please? Commissioner Ayon? Present. Commissioner Clark? Present. Commissioner Couch? Here. Commissioner Bruin? Absent. Commissioner Fowler? Present. Commissioner Gonzalez? Absent. Commissioner McKibben? Present. Commissioner Scrivener? Absent. Commissioner Saragoza? Present. Roll call complete. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Before we proceed, uh, can everybody just uh, put their cell phone on silent? And then also, can you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? Ms. Commissioner Fowler would lead us. Thank you, Commissioner Fowler. Video uh, ask clerk, any commissioners attending video conference? No. Thank you. Uh, moving on to item number four, approval of the minutes uh, for May 15, 2024. Uh, do we have any public comment regarding our uh, minutes for last meeting? Seeing none, do we have any commissioner comments or questions? Yes, Ms. Mr. Fowler? Chair. I'd like the minutes to reflect that a request was made that when our Colonel AFCO gets its web page online, that it be accessible to someone who would like to <coughs> protest an annexation and find out how to do it. Yes, we can add that. Typically, our minutes don't reflect the conversation that hap happens, but that's a, something we're working on so anyway, so it, we can easily put that in. Mr. Chairman, uh, through the chair, I unfortunately was not here at the meeting, so I will abstain uh, from the approval of minutes for the last meeting. We still have a quorum without you, so. Thank Motion you. Motion to approve. Fowler. I second. Th that's a motion with the, the amendment, right? Yeah. Okay. We have a motion by Commissioner Fowler, second by Commissioner um, Couch with the amendment. Madam Clerk. Commissioner Ayon? Aye. Commissioner Clark? Abstain. Commissioner Couch? Yes. Commissioner Fowler? Yes. Commissioner McKibben? Yes. Commissioner Saragoza? Aye. All ayes, motion passed. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Moving on to public comment. This portion of the meeting is reserved for persons desiring to address the commission on any matter not on this agenda and over with which the the commission has jurisdiction. Speakers are limited to two minutes. Please state your name and address for the record before making your presentation. Madam Clerk, do we have anybody for public comment? No. Okay, moving on to number six, no determination proceeding. Moving on to number seven, notice of public hearing, 1820, um, 1821 protest hearing results, Los Hills Community Service District Formation and County Service Area 91 Dissolution and Re Re Reorganization. I'm going to read the, this proposal for uh, formation was approved by resolution number 24-05 at the, at the May 15, 2024 meeting. A protest hearing will be conducted from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. on June 17, 2024 at Los Hills Park Recreation Center. Conducting authority res results will be announced at the meeting. Mr. Knox. Monday, there was a protest hearing held at the Recreation Center in Los Hills. There was a small turnout of three people. Uh, anyone can turn in a protest hearing uh, between the time the notice was sent out until now. Uh, to date, we have received zero voter protests and zero landowner protest. Uh, there are 485 voters in this, um, registered voters within this area, and for landowners, it would be 1,639,320, let me do that again, One, $1 639325801 in assessed value of property in the, in the proposed district. Uh, it's my uh, recommendation to accept the results of the protest hearing. Mr. Knox, I'm glad that you had to say that number, not me. So yeah, It's a big number. All right. Do we have any public comment regarding this item? Seeing none, do we have any commissioner comments or questions? Through the chair, I do have a question. Go ahead, Mr. Clark. Uh, am I, uh, did I understand correctly that uh, none of the protest folks were landowners? 
We received no protest from either voters or landowners. Okay, thank you. Zero. Seeing none, do I have a motion to approve? Motion, Fowler. Second, Second. Commissioner Zaragoza. I have a motion by Commissioner Fowler, second by Commissioner Zaragoza. Adam Clerk. Commissioner Ayon? Aye. Commissioner Clark? Yes. Commissioner Couch? Yes. Commissioner Fowler? Yes. Commissioner McKibben? Yes. Commissioner Zaragoza? Aye. All ayes, motion passed. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Moving on to number nine, general business approving of monthly expense list number 24-05. Uh, do we have any commission uh, commissioner comments or questions regarding the monthly expense list? Seeing none, do we have a motion? So moved. Do I have a second? Second, Fowler. Motion by Commissioner Clark, second by Commissioner Fowler. Uh, Madam Clerk, may I have a vote? Roll call. Commissioner Young? Aye. Commissioner Clark? Yes. Commissioner Couch? Yes. Commissioner Bruin? I'm, I haven't checked in, but yes. I'm yes. <laughs> Commissioner Fowler? Yes. Commissioner McKibben? Yes. Commissioner Saragoza? Aye. All ayes, motion passed. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Uh, it's uh, 522. We have Mayor Bruin from the city of Ridgecrest attending now. No worries, Mr. Mayor. Sorry. We're moving on to B, LAFCO staff sharing agreement. Mr. Knox, your executive report, please. Yes. Uh, Marin, Marin LAFCO Executive Officer Jason Freed has been working to create an agreement between LAFCOs around the state to share staff time. There are times where, where a LAFCO might be short-staffed in need of a specific expertise or any number of situations where additional staff might be helpful as we... As we are a small staff, it might be beneficial to have a backup plan. Both Mr. Schroeder and I reviewed the contract and found that it needs additional work before it would be acceptable to bring to the commission for consideration. The question tonight is whether it is worth the time and money necessary to address the deficiencies and negotiate a revised agreement. This would be uh, a multi-agency agreement that will likely take an unknown amount of time and effort. This, this isn't something that's been budgeted. Uh, if the commission is interested in moving forward, it'd probably be beneficial to know a limit in the, of the time and costs of the agreement as, as in a not to exceed a certain amount. Uh, with that, it's my recommendation that staff direct for the commission to direct staff and council as to whether to address the deficiencies and negotiate a revised staff sharing agreement. Thank you, Mr. Knox. Do we have any public comment regarding this item? Seeing none, do we have any commissioner comments or questions? Ms. Ms. Commissioner Fowler? I'm certainly not an attorney, but the language seemed pretty flexible and mushy, particularly when it spoke about after five hours, you may ask for recompense for the monies at, you know expended for the service just thought that was kind of weird what about you mr schroeder that was just one of the issues that i had uh the other was the two um the references to the interested interested lafcos and the supporting <laughs> lafcos it never defines which is which and when you read through it and you think, well, the interested LAFCO must be the new ones that come in, coming on board. The supporting ones must, must be the originals. It doesn't work out that way. Uh, the one you're talking about, it not only is May, but it doesn't give a time frame of when they have to pay, or even, and as you indicate, they don't even have to pay by the wording. Now, it's all, um, Blair looked into this, and the two agencies that are involved in it are getting, getting along very well with this contract. Um, and so they've, they've got it all worked out. Those questions don't come up. Um, but, but we're not part of that group. Uh, we probably could be. It probably would work out just as well for us. Um, but I can't recommend it as your attorney without clarifying some of those things. Can I ask a question about that? Go ahead, Mr. Fouch. Does, does the May part of that mean uh, essentially you're going to work on a case for another lab co for five hours and you're not going to bill for that after five hours you may bill 
and it's not that they may pay, but they will pay. Is that how it's working out? And that's how, I, I they, so. that's how they mean it? That you'd like it to say, and I don't mind, I think that's, that's wise on our part that they will pay. We may build and they, may, they will pay. Well, I think it's, it doesn't even say that they have to pay. Well, but it I'm, I'm suggesting I yeah. agree with you that it, it should yeah. say that. Yeah. yeah. Is there well, an hourly figure that they give? No, we would set, we would set our own. I skimmed it fast, and I didn't see one. We would set our own okay. rate, and they and they'd have to decide whether they want to do that, to use us at that rate, or vice versa. If we wanted to use one of their employees, uh, one of my issues is we give them a project, and there's no way to to um, enforce a deadline with this agreement. That that concerns me. And either one, anyone can withdraw at any time. And if they're one of the the, the ones doing the su the support, and they withdraw, that leaves the uh, right. the one being supported out in the cold. And Re they have remind, to pay. remind me of the LAFCOs that are the two that are already doing in, in the, have this. Well, right. Santa Cruz and uh, Marin. 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 Okay. Yes. Thank you. Mark, yeah. Go ahead, Commissioner Zaragoza. Um, I just wanted to clarify, um, I am sympathetic to small APCOs. Um, I guess um, we're close to being a very small APCO, but uh, so Marin County has how many staff people? I believe they have two, two and two. Santa Cruz has one. Right. And this would be a shared resource agreement that goes both ways? Correct. Okay. Uh, my only concern was based on our last <clears throat> meeting in May, which was uh, very enlightening, some of the comments made by Bud, he mentioned that he was surprised, he called it eye-opening, that we'll be as busy as LA LAFCO this year. Um, LA has approximately 83 cities and 20 districts. They'll be processing 40 applications. We only have 11 cities and 162 districts, and we're in the process of processing 21 plus 16, that's 37. We'll be as busy as LAFCO. They have, according to what I was told last May, 20 employees they have, and we have three, or three and a half. <laughs> the question is, if we're being asked to support the other LAFCO, do we have staff time this next fiscal year to do that, considering how busy we're going to be being? As busy I, as I, LA. I, I doubt we would. I at at least initially, at least initially, I would think that we may be the one asking for help. Oh, okay. All right. I just wanted to point that clarification out, which I thought was kind of a revealing comment. Yes, we're, we're going to be busy. Okay, thank you. Go ahead, Commissioner Clark. I was just going to ask, are they, are they keeping score? As far as? If, if they're doing more than we are, <laughs> is, I mean, obviously these issues have been brought up to them, mm -hmm. and, and the agreement is still the agreement. Well, e either party can say no. Correct. If they come to us and say, can we use some of your, ha some of your staff time, and, we, and I say, I'm sorry, I don't have it to give, yeah. that's the end of it. And so I guess the question would be if we tabled this, there's still, there's no room for improvement on the contract to address some of your concerns as a staff? Well, we, that, that's, that's kind of the idea of bringing it before you today okay. is, is it worth the time and, and resources to, to put into this um, at this time. This wasn't budgeted. Um, and because there's multi-agencies working on it, getting everybody to agree is gonna be difficult. Yeah, and so I guess that's the question. So it, it, it could become an infinite amount of time we spend on this. And so I, I didn't wanna start working on something and spending a bunch of time without the commission knowing I'm working on it sure. and, you know, sharing that th whether this is a good idea or not. If, if it's done correctly, this, this could be helpful to a lot of LAFCOs, including us. Sure. If it's not done correctly, it could be a mess. Yeah, thank you. Do you have any other commissioner questions or concerns regarding this item? Go ahead, Mr. Commissioner Couch. Are you, are you looking for us to tell you, please yeah. spend some time on it or table it? What's your if, if, we, if, if, if you were to do that, I would ask that you set a not to exceed amount. Who's going to do the bulk of the work on this, Tom? Yes. 
One of the issues is you've already got two agencies that have approved this contract and they're working under it. The changes, the fixes are not, not difficult. Right. Um, but w whether the, the, the two existing agencies want to go through that and want to accept and changes to something that's working perfectly fine for them is, it may be the issue. Well, it might be beneficial to us in the future, so here's my suggestion. Why don't you throw the recommended changes that you would like to have at them and if they don't have any interest in making those changes, then we say, okay. We're out. We're out, yeah. That, that's, not a, that's not a great deal of effort, or time, rather, on your part, right? Oh, that's fine. Okay. If it is for, for Blair. Blair's the one that's got to communicate with him. <coughs> yeah, I, I can. But he's can. on a salary. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the clock. Do you want to limit the amount of time that I have to spend on Well, I, I'm, I'm figuring it's, it's uh, well, he did say it was pretty a easy. couple of hours. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how many how many hours do you think it is? I would say four or five. Okay, that's that's, that's fair. You're you have very reasonable rates. Okay, <laughs> but I would I would kind of echo what Commissioner Couch said: is taking four or five hours to see if there's an amenable opportunity between the parties for the things that we're going to need. That's reasonable. If they're if they're starting to balk and it's getting played back, say okay, I know that we don't have the support of our commissioners to bring a lot of other yeah. yep, support. And if I could just add one thing that Blair brought up to my attention. I didn't realize you're right. In the event this increases our budget, would you come back and ask for more money to make this shared resource agreement work? I, I can absorb five hours. Five hours, okay. <laughs> that, that's not a problem. Right. But if, we, if this continues, really continues it, it really does, it could blossom into being okay. considered okay. more. And that's what I wanted to not get myself in a position of. Go ahead, Commissioner Fowler. Well, two things. Uh, first, I can't imagine those two entities signing such a badly worded contract. That's suspicious right there. And secondly, um, how do we work this into our budget? This is an unknown number of possible hours and dollars to be spent. How do you budget that? The chances are I wouldn't, I, I would have to put it in next year's budget and have specific projects and specific amounts for those projects that we would u utilize those other LAFCOs to do. Now it's working separate, the opposite way, we'd be getting revenues for the use of our staff's time. So I don't think the commission has a problem with, with that, <laughs> except I don't, I don't anticipate us doing that at least in the near future with as many projects and proceedings as we have coming our way in the next 12 months. Okay. Well, I have no other, any other questions, concerns from the commissioners? Do we have any public comment regarding this item? Do I call a motion? Do, do we need a vote on this or is, uh, do we have directions? No, you don't need a vote on it. Okay. If there's objections, let them be heard now and we'll do a vote, but otherwise you don't have to. So are we, are we tabling it? Uh, no, I'll, I'll come back okay. at the next meeting. Perfect. Depending we'll, on we'll, how it goes. We'll, we'll continue the item to the next meeting. Yeah. Okay. Which would be in August, correct? Correct. Okay. All right, moving on to C, for a Brown, Ar a Brown Armstrong audit agreement extension. Mr. Blair Knox. Yeah, we are two weeks away from the end of our fiscal year, which means Ms. Menchaca and I are starting to think about audits. Our contract with Brand Armstrong for audit services has, has expired, so we need to address securing an auditor going forward. In discussing future audits with Brown Armstrong, they have offered to amend the previous contract for one additional year with an optional for, option for two additional years, not to exceed $9,700 per audit. This is $400 increase over the current contract. Considering that other bids were considerably higher three years ago and prices aren't dropping, this appears to be a good deal. While this is the same accounting firm that we've used for audits for the past five years, Ms. Zimmerman uh, is the third partner we have been worked with during uh, bringing a new perspective to the audit process. Therefore, an argument can, made, can be made that we don't necessarily need to change firms to get a new perspective. If the commission wants to explore the other options, we can send out an RFP and see what happens. Uh, 
and Ms. Zimmerman is here to, and available to answer any questions the commission may have. Uh, my recommendation is to approve amendment to contract for one year with an option for two additional years for amount not to exceed $9,700. Okay, thank you, Mr. Knox. Is there any public comment regarding this item? Seeing none. Commissioner, qu uh, comments or questions? Sure. That actually makes sense. I've been on this board long enough to actually have heard the exact opposite when we were going to use a new firm, but the same auditor was at the new firm, <laughs> which made absolutely no sense. <laughs> so I'll make a motion to approve your uh, recommendation. Second, Commissioner uh, Clark. I have a motion by Commissioner Couch, uh, second by Commissioner Clark. Uh, vote, please. Commissioner Ayon? Aye. Commissioner Clark? Yes. Commissioner Couch? Yes. Commissioner Fowler? Yes. Commissioner Bruin? Yes. Commissioner McKibben? Yes. Commissioner Saragoza? Aye. All ayes, motion passed. Thank you, Madam Clerk. We're moving on to the Executive Officer Miscellaneous <coughs> Items. This is only informational. It's no vote. Mr. Knox? Uh, typically in the summer, we start informing commissioners about conferences in the fall. Uh, for those who are interested in attending, I would encourage commissioners to consider attending the CSDA conference instead of the CalAFCO conference. I attended last year's and found it to be more informative, better attended, and more fun. Uh, in your packet is information on both. If you're interested in going to one or the other, please contact Patty. Uh, she'll help you with that. LAFCO is now required uh, to have a workplace violence prevention plan with the passage of, and implementation of SB 553. Uh, the plan includes staff, but also applies to commission members. When we have a completed document, we will provide each commissioner a copy and include it in the commissioner's handbook. So don't be getting violent in here. Uh, staff has been working to populate our new website. I can't guarantee we'll have it go live before our next commission meeting. If not, we hope to, we hope to provide you with a preview of what it will look like. Uh, we will be dark in July, and we're back August 21st. Uh, several annexations will be on the agenda, so expect a fairly long meeting, and enjoy your summer. Thank you, Mr. Knox. Do we have any questions, concerns for Mr. Knox, commissioners? Um, I think that's great progress on the web, uh, our, um, the LAFCO's website. In the event we want to make suggestions, will you be open to that? It, the website is an ongoing okay. living <laughs> I think Barbara and I will probably have a few thoughts on that. I just wanted to verify that. Thanks. Okay. Thank you, Commissioner Zaragoza. Uh, Mr. Knox, do we have anything for a closed session? Uh, we, do, we do not. Um, I don't have anything to add under the negotiation, and we can wait to do the minutes the next time we have closed session. So. Thank you, Mr. Knox. Oh, well, our next schedule meeting is for August 21st. Uh, that leads for adjournment. Do, do we have a motion to adjourn? Second, Clark. Motion by Commissioner Fowler, second by Commissioner Clark. Meeting adjourned, 539.